Long breaking news this morning, just at the very top of the hour, we got word that what was once Tropical Storm Ian has intensified to hurricane strength and is now categorized officially as a hurricane. First to know, meteorologist Elizabeth Copeland has your latest. Elizabeth. Yeah, Cara, so as of uh, just a few minutes ago, the 5 a.m. Uh, advisory issued by the National Hurricane Center, Hurricane I, uh, Ian excuse me, is uh, now out there in the Caribbean and Gulf, heading into the southern Gulf over the next several days, and Hurricane Ian, now a Category 1 storm, will rapidly intensify today. It is heading into favorable conditions, heading just off the western coast of Cuba over the next several hours, and there we're going to find a lot more convection. That eye wall is going to get a lot more solidified, and we're going to find ourselves with a major category bef uh, hurricane before this week is over with. So taking a look at that track, here is the latest track where those wobbles uh, were just all over the place. Now that the storm is starting to form, becoming a little bit organized, we're going to have a better idea of where this storm's headed over the next several days. That can still change. Obviously, we'll look at that in a minute. The cone of uncertainty is still very large, but over the next several days, really hours, we do expect this to become a Category 2 storm by the end of today. That's how uh, favorable these conditions are for rapid strengthening, even by early tomorrow, uh, hitting the western coast of Cuba as a major Category 3 hurricane before spinning up to the northeast. Expected to come a little closer to Tampa. Again, that timing Thursday into Friday as a Category 3 hurricane just off the coast there. And then we do find ourselves with a Category 1 hurricane again Thursday, Friday, and then into Saturday we could see some of that remnant of uh, storm really rain through Saturday morning. So right now the latest at least showing landfall just to the southwest of Gainesville. Just to the southwest of us, this latest shift east does mean that we do have some potential for storm surge and some tropical wind. But for our area, this is good news as it shifts east because it's not uh, on the uh, stronger side, the northeast side. But we still have those effects Thursday and Friday of heavy rain, tropical storm winds and storm surge in our area. Obviously keeping you up to date with that over the next couple of days, uh, even some hurricane gusts possible, especially closer down here to the southeast side of the Big Bend area. So the wind probability uh, by the National Hurricane Center over the next couple of days uh, for uh, hurricane wind probability, most of that stays closer to the Central Peninsula. Again, that becoming a Category 3 right around Wednesday, Thursday, closer to Tampa. Uh, and for our area, weakening as it heads into some cooler air and some instability possible that just really going to shear off some of that uh, storm activity. Storm surge potential still there though for especially again southeast Big Bend. This is where most of our area will see these effects. So Taylor County and south that storm surge could be anywhere from three feet closer to northwest Taylor County all the way down to a foot to the southwest. So really keeping an eye just on these little shifts. That's how much uh, we could see this potential change in our forecast over the next several days. And that's what we're going to keep you up to date on. So again over the next few days mostly dry in the 90s today. A few isolated chances of rain and showers, but over the next seven days that storm approaches Hurricane Ian on the way, bringing us heavy rain, wind and storm surge, especially the southeast Big Bend Thursday and Friday.